NVIDIA has lost as much as 28% from its all-time high of $140.76. The stock is trading at around $100 due to the recent extreme tech sell-offs. Despite that, NVIDIA is 111% up year-to-date and 115% up in the last year. The question is where it is headed next. If you are an NVIDIA investor, I understand your pain. Losing 28% of your money is always a painful experience. Even though you were in profit, the profit is still your money. You could have liquidated your position at $140 per share and could now sit on a pile of cash. But who could tell that a growth stock like NVIDIA, which has been the darling of Wall Street for the last couple of years, would decline so rapidly even after it posted a fantastic quarter. The stock started tanking after the recent earnings call and has been tanking ever since. But this is how investing is. You need a long-term goal. You need to feel the pain of losing money during downturns or sell-offs like this. You could sell at a 20% loss and exit the market. But those who have done that in the past have not enjoyed the outstanding growth NVIDIA has offered you over the years. They made 30% or 40% and left looking for opportunities elsewhere. But you have shown real character as an investor, you are holding the cream of the market, and your best days are still ahead. Why do I say that? First of all, this is not a downturn after a bull market that we have seen in 2021. This is an average stock market pullback situation, which is not uncommon. The semiconductor stocks grew up fast, pulling the entire market up. But now, they must adjust to the overall condition of the market. In 2021, we saw every stock to be grabbed by buyers at any price. Every day, the market looked for liquidity above its previous day's high. Thus turning ash into gold. There was competition among investors at that time to own a slice of the market, many of whom were retail investors energized by the free pandemic cash. That is why we saw a spectacular decline in the market within quarters, and many of the most loved stocks of that time have not recovered yet. Remember Zoom Technologies? The $600 stock is still trading at only $67. The $300 block is trading at $61 after three years of its all-time high. This time, the tech sector was pushed to record highs by a few high-profile stocks, one of which was NVIDIA. The total market did not get a chance to join the bull market. That is why a pullback was inevitable. The only question was when. Secondly, NVIDIA has its major support at $97 and then another significant support at $91 on the daily chart. It has fallen through the $109 this week due to the total market sell-off and at the moment it is trading below its $105 support on the hourly chart. I will be very surprised if I see NVIDIA trade below $95. That will mean it has fallen through one of its more significant support levels of $97 established earlier in the year. Thirdly, we see excellent movement among NVIDIA call option buyers. Option buyers have put millions of dollars in short-term call options, most of them expiring in a week or two. That means that they expect NVIDIA to rebound within their short expiration date. They cannot make any money if the market does not rebound soon. The contracts are close to their expiry and therefore are subject to rigorous time decay. Option buyers understand that, but the optimism regarding NVIDIA is really very high. If the stock begins to rise, as they expect, option sellers will have to buy the stocks to fulfill their obligation as sellers, which will fire up the stock several percentage points every week. 
Fourthly, NVIDIA's board has approved a $50 billion share repurchase. This should sound music to any NVIDIA investor's ears. At the current market price of NVIDIA, we are talking about 500 million shares here. This announcement is not today's. It has already been in action. NVIDIA has already bought $7.15 billion worth of its own shares in July 2024. But the good news is in July 2024, the share price was not where it is today. It was much higher, between 111 and 135. That means NVIDIA board believed they were investing in their future by repurchasing their own shares at that higher price. And I don't think they wanted to make a profit of 10% or 20%. I believe they were after big money when they approved the fund. This indicates that NVIDIA itself believes its share should trade much higher than its current price at that time. NVIDIA investors expect some exciting time ahead. In case NVIDIA falls through the $97 support, the stock will offer an extraordinary buying opportunity. NVIDIA will still lead the semiconductor industry, never doubt that, and the world will still need semiconductors and NVIDIA to advance. NVIDIA will reclaim its all-time high and move further up. Imagine a day when NVIDIA trades at $500 per share, and then it has another split. This is an opportunity to grab as many NVIDIA shares as you possibly can, and then sit back and relax. The NASDAQ will not remain under 20,000 points in the next five years, as it did not stay at 11,000 points two years ago. When the market rebounds, NVIDIA will rise before many other tech stocks. Can NVIDIA become a $500 stock? Absolutely. That is only a 400% growth from its current price. Those of you who believed Palantir would rise from $20 to $100 per share one day estimated the same 400% growth. If you want SoFi to become a $28 stock from its trading price of $7 per share, you anticipate the same 400% growth. NVIDIA had a 122% increase in revenue year on year. There is great demand in the market for its hopper and upcoming Blackwell architecture. It has a cash fund of no less than $46 billion to be engaged in innovation and to maintain its current operations. The positive cash flow was $14.7 billion on average for the last three years. At that rate, it will have another $45 billion of cash coming into its account in the next three years. Buy NVIDIA shares between $90 and $95. It has a fair value of $95.89 per share and an average annual forecast of $140. Buying under 95 will offer you an excellent profit opportunity. If the stock touches its highest Wall Street forecast of $210, you will have doubled your money. If you are an options trader, sell weekly put options at a $100 strike price and then a $95 strike price, and continue going down by $5 until you have created a position that suits your financial situation. If you do not know how to buy NVIDIA shares at a price cheaper than the market price, watch this video. If you don't know how put options work, watch this video. Of course, keep an eye on the market. It is a market savaged by the presidential election of November. It is a market pulled down by the Fed's uncertainty regarding if and when to cut interest rates and by what percentage points. It is a market destabilized by inflation-related unemployment, real estate, and utility sector crash. Do your best. Always remember to make an informed decision when it comes to investing. If NVIDIA falls after you have taken a position in it, remember that it functions within a market. If it tanks with the market, 
It is not always its fault or your fault.